For practice it, self-check 2.3 expressions when we are asked to trace the evaluation of the following expressions and give their resulting values. We need to make sure to give a value to the approximate type such as including a 0, .0 at the end of a double. So we're going to go through this list and do the problems. First we have a 3 times 4 right here. That's going to give us a 12. And then if we add 2 to that and then subtract 6, we are going to have 14 minus 6, which is 8. So for this first part, our answer is going to be 8. In the next question, we have 14 divided by 7 right here. That's going to give us 2, and then we're going to multiply it by this 2 right here, and that's going to give us a 4. And then we have to add it to 30 divided by 5, which is 6 and then 1. So we're going to have plus 6 plus 1, which equals 11. So our second value is 11. Next, we have a 12 plus 3 in uh, quotes. So this gets done first, and that's going to be 15. And then we have to divide this by 4, and this is going to be, we have to round 15 down to 12, since it's an integer, and that's going to give us 3 which is multiplied by 2, which gives us 6 as the answer here. Next, we are going to be looking at this first. 238 modulus 10, which will give us 8. And then we add 3 to it because it's in parentheses, which gives us 11. And we have to take the modulus of that, which will give us 4. So 4 is our answer here. For the next one, we have 18 minus 7 in quotes, so that's going to give us an 11. And then we need to multiply this by 43 modulus 10, which is 3, and that'll give us the answer 33. Next, we have 2 plus 19 modulus 5, so we're going to look at this modulus first, right here. And the modulus of 19 using 5 is 4, and then we have to add this to 2, so we are going to get 6. And then we are subtracting the values in the parentheses. First, we're going to look at these, and that is going to give us 2. We multiply that by 11, and all of this is going to be 22. So we have 6 minus 22. And this is going to give us the value of 16. So that is the answer for that one. Next, we have 813 modulus 100. So this part right here. And here, we are going to have the remainder, or modulus, be 13. We have to divide this by 3. And that's going to give us 4. And then we need to add 2.4. And so this is going to give us 6.4 as our answer. Also, for the previous one right here, when we wrote 16 as the answer, it's actually a negative 16 because um, the, there is a negative 22 being added to 6. In the next part, we have 26 modulus 10 right here. And this is going to give us 6. And then we need to take the modulus of that we're using 4. And that is going to be 2. We need to multiply this by 3. And that is going to give us 6 as the answer here. For the next one, we have 4 times 2, which is 8, being added to 22. And that's just going to give us 30. Next, we have 23 modulus 8, and that is going to be, well, we have 8 times 2, which is 16, and then 23 minus 16 is going to be 7, and then we take the modulus of that using 3, and this is just going to give us 1, because 3 times 2 is 6, so our only remainder is 1. Next, we have 12 minus 2, minus 3, 
right here, and that is going to be 7. Next, we have 6 divided by 2, which is 3. And then we have to add this to 7 divided by 3, which is going to be 2. <laughs> and this gives us the value 5. Next, we have 6... <laughs> Next we have the value 6 times 7, which is 42, and we are taking the modulus of this, which is 4, and that is going to give us the answer of 2. So this is the answer for this one. Next we have 3 times 4, which is equal to 12, and then we are adding this to 2 times 3, which is 6, so this answer is going to be 18. We next have 177 modulus 100. And so this is going to give us 77. And we are adding, or we are actually taking the modulus of this using 10. And the modulus of this is just going to be 7. And we are dividing this by 2. So this gives us the answer of 3. Next, we have 89. And then modulus of, because this parentheses, that's going to equal 10. We have 89 modulus of 10, which is equal to 9. And then we take the modulus of this with 5, and that's going to give us 4. So our answer for this one is 4. Next, we have 392 divided by 10, and this is going to give us 2. Or actually, it's going to give us, I was thinking the modulus of that. So this is actually going to give us the value 39. Now we take the modulus of 10, using this part right here, and this is going to give us the value 9, we're dividing that by 2, and this is going to give us the value of 4 as well. Next we have 8 times 2, and so we have 16 here, and then we are subtracting 7 divided by 4, which is just 1, so we're going to have 15 as that answer. And then we have 37 modulus 20 and that is going to give us 17 and then we are taking <laughs> the modulus of 3 and this is going to be 2 and we are multiplying that by 4 and that's giving us the value 8 so the answer here is 8 last one we have 17 modulus 10 which is 7 we're dividing this by 4 and this gives us the value 1 and slightly messy but those are all of our answers